Yo, what's good everybody? So, part 3 is upon us and I thought, you know what? Let us rate the Legends 5th year anniversary. So, down below in the comments, give the Legends anniversary a rating out of 1 to 10. 1 being very bad, 10 being fantastic. So, for me, I would definitely say the anniversary has been somewhere between 9.4 to 9.5. I think for newer players especially, there's a lot of resources to get. There was a lot of ways to grind Chrono Crystals. There was a lot of good teams that you could make just from the anniversary banners. Overall, in terms of that front, it was absolutely like perfect pretty much. But there were three things that did kind of bring it a little bit down. Two of those were the LFs. Now, Gammas, don't get me wrong, I like the Gammas. I do. I am still annoyed that the Zebros were kind of a test unit for the Gammas, pretty much. I'm still annoyed by that. But the actual thing was, Orange Piccolo being not as hyped as he, what he should have been, I do hope that they do kind of buff him up a little bit with his kit. We never know, they did it with Goku Freezer, and the other one would be Goku Freezer, by the way. Over buffing him to this point where he's pretty much on everybody's team and he is so annoying you don't even want to fight him. For me, he's on that level of Rosé and that was already saying a lot because I hated playing against Rosé and now I don't like playing against Goku Freezer either. So, yeah, that was two of the things. The last thing was actually PvP. Now, if you looked at PvP, you think, okay, it's just normal PvP. No, I do not like double RP seasons that are three weeks long. That is way too long. Two weeks is perfectly fine. The last RP, double RP season, which just ended literally like last week, I actually grinded a little bit. I got to about 27k RP and I'm like, I'm not going any further than this because it's just more of a struggle fest than anything else because, again, my units are not high stars, I'm more of a variety over high stars, which is why I did that community post a while ago asking you guys if would you rather have one ultra at 14 stars or have one copy of every ultra and the majority of you actually said you will have one ultra uh, all ultras at five stars i was actually very surprised to see that but yeah let me know in the comments what you actually think what were the best parts of the anniversary whether it's the raids that gave you all the resources which gave you the cc was it the chance time that i did not get anything in <laughs> Let's be honest, that John's time is so unpredictable, it's it's dumb. Or was it just like little things like co-op or yeah, what or the events? Were there enough events for you to grind, for you to enjoy? Yeah, so let me know your favorite part. Maybe let me know your worst part as well. What was the worst? And I know people are gonna say the uh summon rates. I know there's gonna be somebody who's gonna say that. Probably a lot of you will actually say that, but you know what, that's understandable. But yeah, anyway. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and yeah, feel free to share your opinion down below in the comments and yeah, I'll see you at the next one. Bye.